Okay, we're going to explain to you uh, how and why we inoculate these trees. Uh, as you can see, we are growing these trees on a plantation. They are not being grown in the wild. When these trees are in the wild, uh, deep in the forest in any part of Myanmar, what will happen is the tree will actually become sick or get an infection. Uh, the trees can uh, uh, have the bark or the skin of the tree opened up by insects. Uh, they can be struck by lightning uh, or something else can happen where uh, fungi uh, can go inside the tree. Just, just like the human body, when we have a disease, our body puts out an antibody to fight the disease. These trees, when they are properly infected by the right kind of fungi, inside the tree will start to form agar wood. So what we want from these trees is we want the agar wood. Uh, if these trees are not inoculated, uh, they do not form naturally the agar wood that we want so that we can sell it overseas. <laughs> So here on the plantation, uh, when these trees are about five to six years old, we will go ahead and use a special uh, mixture and go ahead and inoculate the tree to make it sick. We do not want to kill the tree. If, uh, if our medicine is wrong or we are doing this wrong, then what will happen, we will lose the whole tree and all of the money that we put into growing it. So what we have done is we have developed a new uh, mixture that we can use to uh, inoculate the trees that will make the tree sick so that it forms the agar wood but does not kill the tree. Uh, in doing this, uh, we will be able to harvest uh, the agar wood that we want from the trees that we grow, grow on the plantation. Uh, at the after we inoculate, usually within three to six months, we will know if we have been successful or not. 
Uh, here at Agawan Keystone Farm, we're doing a lot of research uh, into the inoculation process uh, because we know that uh, Agarwood farmers all over Myanmar are very curious and uh, want information on the correct inoculation process. So as we ourselves develop information, we are more than happy to share it with other agarwind farmers all over Myanmar. Uh, the Myanmar government intended for agarwood planting to be a way for uh, poor farmers to make more money and add to their income. Uh, we would like to assist the government, but more we would like to assist the farmers. ตมารุบอนอดีมีมานายงานติดตอหานิยอบอนอดีติมวยไซจินอาพิจมารุยะวิงเวบอนอมีมานายงานมาชิยะวิงเวปูเปียวปูเปียวตูอะมิวปูเ